If you're looking to add a bunch of marquees to use with your At Games Legends Bit LCD marquee, specifically for your Coin Ops X, your Add on X games, some of the games that are built into the cabinet that are missing marquees, as well as something a little bit prettier to look at when navigating through the main menu system and user interface. Well, I got this quick tutorial video here for you. I'm going to show you how to use a community depot of marquees to get yourself up and running very, very quickly. All right, so step one on your computer is to navigate over to this Pixelcade website. I will have a link to get you here in the video description below. You're going to navigate down to where it says the At Games Bit LCD files. These are the files that you're going to want to download onto your PC right here. All you got to do is click on this and download the files. The files themselves are about two and a half gigabytes in a zip file that you need to get onto your PC. When the artwork files come over, they'll come over again as a zip file. So all you gotta do is right click on it and use 7-zip or any other extraction tool and go ahead and extract the files to whatever folder you put them in. I put them in a folder just called bitlcd on my hard drive on my computer. Due to the size of these file builds, it should only take, geez, one minute, maybe two for everything to extract. And it'll create a couple of folders as it's extracting that we're gonna talk about next. When it finishes extracting, it'll look like this. You'll have two folders that say third party and alter. Step number three is going to be plug in the bit LCD flash drive that you have currently plugged in to the back of your bit LCD marquee and that you set up during the installation process of that device. That is the window on the right. You notice that the file structure is very similar to the file structure that you just downloaded in this art pack from the Pixelcade website. What you'll notice about this art pack is that when it comes to add-on X games, coin ops X games, games that are not included on the arcade machine, as well as artwork for the um, menus, uh, navigating the, the menus and the settings and all that stuff, there's artwork that has been created for all of these because when Act Games released the bit LCD, we were missing artwork for a lot of stuff, unfortunately. Now I'm sure Act Games will eventually release this stuff, but as you can see right here, instead of having like a black screen with the white words that say attract mode, you can have these kind of marquees display until At Games releases something more official. So I think it's very cool that the community put this, these builds together, spent all this time getting all this artwork set up for us to transfer over. So this is a very simple process. You're going to open on the left the files you downloaded. You're going to open the folder that says third party and on your USB flash drive on the right, for your bit LCD flash drive, you're just going to copy all the files and drag and drop those over onto your bit LCD flash drive under the same third party folder. It'll take a few minutes to copy everything over and when it's done, it'll look something like this. Now, when we extracted and unzipped the files that came over from the Pixelcade website, it created two folders. It created the third party folder, which we just finished copying all the third party folder contents over to the third party contents folder on our bit LCD flash drive. The second folder is called altered and inside of this folder, what you'll see are some improved or changed marquees. A lot of them have been stretched to fill to eliminate any black gaps on the marquee. So these are completely optional. If you would prefer to have these that take up the entire marquee, versus some of the marquees that are in the original build, all you have to do is select all the files, drag and drop them on over into the third party folder. What'll happen is it'll say, hey, there's a lot of files with duplicate names now, duplicate names now, what do you wanna do? Of course, you wanna check the box to replace the ones in the extension. So these 300 some marquees will replace 300 some marquees out of the 4,000 that you just put on your flash drive should only take a couple of minutes for it to swap all its artwork. Once that's done, you are done on your PC. You can take this flash drive and you could go ahead and plug it back into the uh, USB port on the back of the bit LCD marquee and turn on your arcade machine. Once you power on your At Games Legends Ultimate Arcade Machine, the bit LCD will automatically have that ar the artwork files that you just put on it from your PC. So when you're navigating through the menus and through the games, Instead of getting those boring blank marquees that At Games released with this product, you at least have something here that will automatically be pulled to give you something a little bit more pleasing to the eye to look at for navigating the menus. 
when it comes to your stock games, it will pull the uh, stock marquees, the ones that have like the icon game logo on the side, like Fix It Felix. It's got the tile on the left hand side, then the marquee. It will pull those, but games where we were missing the marquees, those games are now going to appear, such as Fighters History. You'll get a marquee uh, when it comes to um, a lot of the missing built in games, Crystal Castles etc let's see if we can find some in this build like right here atari destroyer if it can't find a stock at games marquee it will pull one of the ones from your flash drive so it pulled crystal castles as you saw etc and this is a nice quick fix for games like centipede where at games is waiting to get the approvals to push out the marquees for all the games that were missing that are stock included on the arcade cabinet ah look at that black widow Missing marquees were added for all the pinball game packs, as well as when you're in underneath the App Store X. Different uh, cool looking marquees for each of the headings for Coin Ops X, Bit LCD, Pixelcade. Gives you a little bit of something better to look at since uh, At Games only gave us a black screen with some white text. And of course, when it comes to the Coin Ops X, when you launch your Coin Ops X build, you'll notice that because the file names of the marquees match, the file names on the, your CoinOps X build, especially if you're using like, I'm using CoinOps X version five is a live saucy build from our CoinOps community. If you're using one of the community builds, you can be pretty confident that the marquee names, the file names will match the names on your CoinOps X flash drive. So it should pull a lot of the marquees for the games. There will be a few one-offs here and there where it doesn't pull the games well that just means either the file name is wrong needs to be corrected on the flash drive or a, a whole new image needs to be added etc uh but then again predominantly the majority of your marquees it will pull something and if you don't like the coin ops x front end if you go under byog go to add on x all your coin ops x game files are there and again it should pull the same stuff you will see some games where the file names just need to be fixed on the flash drives to match in order to get them to pull, or maybe these marquees are completely missing and they need to be added, but it should pull a healthy amount until the next community build comes out, because what we did here from the Chefs of Sauce is that the CoinOps X6 build, when that is released in the coming months, well, those guys are spending hundreds of hours doing this work for you, and they'll make sure that pretty much all these marquees pull for every single game. That's a lot of work. My hat is tipped to those awesome guys in the community who put this stuff together for us. But again, this is a quick fix to get us through for the time being until that community build comes out and these marquees look pretty damn good in my opinion. So make sure you follow my tutorial to get your bit LCD up and running. Once your bit LCD is up and running, come back here and follow this tutorial to get additional artwork added. If you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up on the way out, and as always, my dudes, thank you for subscribing.